So, you want to play Among Us, do you? Well, you've come to the right place, but I warn you, you will die over and over and over again. But, with my help, you'll be king of the crop before too long. There are two teams in Among Us, the human crewmates and the alien imposters. The human's job is to complete all the tasks around the map. The alien's job is to kill enough humans to stop that from happening. An important note, if you are killed, you still have to complete your tasks. Do you think death is an escape? Get on with them. Stop wasting time. Also, this is played muted, until a discussion is called. Don't ruin it for everybody else. Keep your microphone off. The human tasks are listed on the upper left of the screen, and can be located in game using the map on the upper right of the screen. Once all humans completed all their tasks, they win! Bada bing bada boom celebration time! The other method of victory for the humans is killing all the imposters. Humans can only kill by ejecting suspected imposters out of the game during a discussion. Discussions are called whenever a body is reported or the emergency meeting button is hastily pressed in the center of the map. During an emergency meeting, everyone unmutes, discusses, and accuses those deemed guilty, most likely a Goldwyn. You all have a Goldwyn in your group. Kill him first. At the end of the voting period, the player with the most votes is ejected. Into space or lava. You don't get to choose, that's map dependent. That's it for the humans. Fairly simple. The imposters, however, have a fake selection of tasks to be able to imitate a human. But, as they have no opposable thumbs, they cannot actually access the tasks themselves. So, perceptive humans will watch for crewmates completing an animated task. As it confirms, they are human. To help the imposters, there are vents which enable fast travel around the map that only they can access. They also can periodically sabotage the ship either by attacking the ship directly, or by disabling systems. When an attack happens, the humans have a limited time to get to the issue and solve an emergency task to stop the countdown. If these are not dealt with quickly enough, then you lose humans and you have no one to blame but yourselves. The disruption attacks limit what the humans can see or do, giving the imposters an advantage. So imposters, you cannot sabotage more than one system at once, you have to choose and you have to make it work. Finally, there are some systems that help both sides. On some maps, there are cameras that can help you see into other parts of the map without the other players really noticing because they're dumb and they don't see the blinking red lights and the cameras next to them. On other maps, there are heartbeat monitors that let you know if a kill has been perpetrated. Or door monitors, enabling you to figure out if someone's used a vent inside an area. Others are for you to discover on your own. I've given you the basics. I've given you the knowledge you need to succeed. Now go. Be victorious.